the previous few LaTeX sessions, we have been seeing about how to insert tables in the document. We saw different types of tables getting inserted in the document, but all through them, we saw the document to be a single column document. In this session, we will see how to create a two column document with a table in it. So first we'll create a normal single column document, see how it looks and then we will convert it into a double column document. So the first line of the document code is going to be the document class which we are going to stick on to the type article for now and then it is going to be the begin document, end document tag. Okay, now let us create a very basic table so for which I'm bringing the tag begin tabular and end tabular. I'm going to create a table with just two columns, so which are going to be center aligned. So I'm putting the column alignment as C here. Now let us create two columns. Let me begin with a horizontal line. So it's going to be a H line first. Uh, let the table be a column with say the product and the prices. So let's say product and the price. Okay. So let us now again put a hedge line and then start inserting the attributes for this particular table. So let us say for example, I am putting oil, its price is going to be 110. Okay, another hedge line is coming in. Then I am creating say shampoo with uh, tag say 180 price. Then another line, I am going to insert say soap. And say that is going to be 45. Sorry, I missed the ampersand of the new line character. So this is going to be an ampersand to differentiate the two columns in the table. And then for now, let us close this table. Let us save this file and then let us first preview this. Since this is going to be a two-column doc, I'm putting this as the file name to call doc. So let us preview this document to see how the table is going to be created in the first place. So this is the kind of table we wanted. And now you see this is a single column document wherein a table is being inserted. Now in order to make this document a two column document, in the line of document class, you need to insert something called as an option for two column. So I type that as two column. Okay. Now let us preview, you will see the difference on how the table gets aligned, correct? But with the moment, we are still not very sure how the document is going to look. So I am going to put a new line and then I am going to dump some content in this. So let me open the browser, say something and copy the content. I don't want to sit and type the whole content here. So let us just go to this, let me go to Google. Uh, let me say simply type LaTeX. Some document information is coming in. Let me copy this uh, information here multiple times so that I will get document. Okay, I'm just blindly copying this because I don't want to type that much information. So let us now save this and then preview this to see how the two column looks. See, now you have a table highly followed by the contents in this particular column followed by it automatically once this column gets over it automatically overflows the text into the second column so this is a simple preview of how a two column document would look like ideally a table that you insert here is going to be aligned to one column only with this i'll close this session in the next session i will show how to insert a table on a two column document which can extend to both the columns. Say for example, in this document we saw the table is very small so it is sufficient to have this table just placed in a single column itself. What if this table has say 15 columns so which will not be able to be accommodated in this single column itself. So I want only the table in this document to extend to two columns. With the rest of the content I wanted it to be a double column document. So we will see in the next session how to do this. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. I am looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.
Thank you.